Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. So the topic of discussion for this session is the resource request algorithm which is under the heading bankers algorithm which in turn is under the heading deadlock avoidance. So here a numerical can be asked like the previous one it can be asked for 7 to 8 marks and what is given in the problem statement is this table will be given apart from that if you see here the question says that given is given are these values okay if p1 request 102 determine if it can be granted immediately will the system be in a safe state if yes determine the safe sequence now the last two questions so will the system be in a safe state or if yes determine the safe sequence this part is completely under the safety algorithm which you have learnt in the previous session but to carry out this part you have to first carry out all the steps for the resource request algorithm and what exactly the problem statement is that i'll be explaining first then i'll move on to the steps for into steps to solve this numerical allocation matrix is given maximum matrix is given and available values are given so here it means what the process p0 is already holding 0 1 0 of abc and maximum it initially only it has it has informed the system that it may require 753 of abc but it is holding what 0 1 0 then what is the remaining 753 minus 0 1 0 becomes the need so i'll just to include here this is the first step you need to carry out fine need need for what for each of the processes you find out here let us see because need is what maximum minus allocation this part in the previous class session also i have told you need is equal to maximum minus allocation so maximum 7 minus 0 7 5 minus 1 4 3 minus 0 3 next is what 3 minus 2 1 2 minus 0 2 2 minus 0 2 9 minus 3 6 0 minus 0 0 2 minus 2 0 okay 2 minus 2 0 and 2 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 1 then comes the last process here determine its need matrix 4 minus 0 4 3 minus 0 3 3 minus 2 1 so these are the values for your need matrix 7 4 3 1 2 2 6 0 0 0 1 1 4 3 1 available is 3 3 2 in the system as i said normally what you can do is before you start solving the problem you find out the total number of uh, total number of uh, what instances of all resources all kinds of resources available in the system that you can add up all the column values of the allocation 5 6 7 1 plus 1 2 2 to 4 5 plus of what available 3 3 2 you add this so you will at least at the end what you can do no you can verify your answer also so 10 5 7 that means 10 5 7 of what a b c these instances are available in the system now we will move to the next step here to solve the problem because we have to apply here the resource request algorithm now this statement has come if p1 request 102 determine if it can be granted immediately what does it mean p1 is holding 200 maximum it may need 322 but now p1 has after it is like this 200 is already p1 is holding now p1 feels that in order to start the task only it requires 102 once again it is making a request in between okay already it is holding what 200 fine maximum is 322 for p1 but before it starts its job because as i said no the process any process which want to perform their job initially uh, they'll start with some resources during the execution they may feel the requirement of few more resources so like that this p1 has made a request that i need 102 now and i will i'll be able to start my job so whether the system can grant this immediately because the system has to check that if it grants like this in between whether the system will be in the safe state or not that is what you have to check with the safety algorithm next part but now first you see whether you can grant the request to this process p1 or not for that you apply this resource request algorithm request of i is less than or equal to need of i first the system will check okay you are making a request 102 fine then i will check whether whatever is the value for the need is your request less than or equal to need this is what the system will first check the p0 has made 102 it is going to check what is the need for p1 122 
it will check whatever request you are making now is it less than or equal to the need value need value for the pre p1 is 122 in this case 1 less than or equal to 1 0 less than or equal to 2 2 less than or, yes it is true if it is true go to step 2 step 2 is what whatever request is made by p1 it should also be available in the system no system availability is 332 so it will check okay you are making the request for 102 i am having 332 let me check whether it is available in my system in this case it is true it is available so once it is true go to step 3 3 is what now the system will update the value for the available because it is trying to give now once again 102 to process p1 from 332 so the new value for available will be 332 minus of 102 how much it will be 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 0 3 and uh, 2 minus 2 0 so here you have to immediately update the value for this available it becomes 230 fine and also next the system will say okay you were already holding something now you are requesting something so let me update the new value for allocation so the system will initial value for p1 was 200 okay so allocation is also for a particular process only let me write the 200 plus what the request is 102 2 plus 1 3 0 plus 0 0 then 0 plus 2 2 so the new value for allocation has become as 302 this one i will update now okay it is 302 so please note down this most of the time students forget to update the value here they may carry out correctly here but immediately you have to update in the allocated matrix because your new value for allocation will be taken into consideration when you use the safety algorithm now it is 302 then what what is the next step still it has not ended need of i equal to need of minus request i the system will say i will update your need value also because initially it was 1 2 2 minus of request of i is how much what is the request 102 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 0 2 2 minus 2 0 so the need value has become 0 2 0 which is this i have to update here this one 0 2 0 now you use the same steps like what you did in the previous session but what is that you have done is before you start the safety algorithm you have used the resource request algorithm and now in this case you have updated the values for the allocation of p1 available values in the system and need of p1 fine with this updation you can now easily proceed to carry out the solution so with this updation you can start now let us begin with the process p0 only because in the sequence we will try to do process p0 is making a request to 74 need is 743 it will check whether it is available in the system 230 you can see here it is false so p0 has not completed next is process p1 P1 is making a need of 0. Now you have to take 0, 2, 0. Don't make a mistake of taking the previous value. So, 2, 0, 2, 0 less than or equal to the available 2, 3, 0. In this case, you can see it is true. Fine. So, if it is true, available equal to available plus allocation. P1 available value is how much? Sorry, available in the system is 2, 3, 0. And P1 will make use of that and return whatever was allocated. And the new value for available will be 5, 3, 2. 5, 3, 2. So, I can update here the new value 5, 3, 2. Now, check for process P2. P2 uh, need is 6, 0, 0, less than or equal to available. In this case, you can see the first resource A itself is not satisfying. 6 is greater than 5 here it is false then if it is false then this process p2 will not complete its job let us see whether in future it can take up its job so p2 has not completed p1 has completed p3 will take p3's need is how much 0 1 1 fine it is lesser than or equal to what available new value is 5 3 2 yes it is true available equal to available plus allocation P3's available is 211, sorry, P3's allocation is 211. 
available is 532 plus 211 so it will be uh, 743 the new value for available is 743 so p3 has completed okay next we'll check for p4 p4 uh, p4 p4 need is 43 4 3 1 lesser than or equal to what you have to check available value 7 4 3 okay yes it is true here the system can give those uh, needed values the needed values are 4 3 1 it will make use of this and then it will return whatever was whatever this process initially was holding so it will return and it will get added to the updated value 743 plus of what plus of this 002 the new value is 745 fine so let me update the value here Now you have hope it is visible to you all. We'll uh, see process P4 has also completed. Now we'll move back to the next one. We'll see whether process P0 can complete its job or not. See normally now in this sequence, if you see P0 and P2 were not able to complete. Now at this point, you can start either with P0 or P2. Normally I am taking what whatever was the first process in the list. I'll start with P0 only. Okay, P0 will check here. And P0, uh, what is the P0? P0 is demanding 743. Is it lesser than or equal to the available 745? Yes, it is true. If it is true, then P0 will release this resources also after completing its job. 010 will be released and it will get added to the what value? 745 plus 010, which is equal to what? 755. The new value is 755. So P0 was able to complete now. Okay. Now the last process pending is P2. So let me write it here so that it is visible to you all. Let me write it here. P2 will check now process P2. Process P2's request need was how much? 600 earlier which was which the system was not able to satisfy 600 lesser than or equal to the current available value 755 yes it is true if it is true then process p2 will release its resource 302 which was holding so 755 plus 302 equal to 7 plus 3 10 5 plus 0 5 5 plus 2 7 so process p2 also completed its job but what is the last value available value i'll update here 10, 5, 7. So, this one you can compare 10, 5, 7. Initially also we had got written now 10, 5, 7. Yes, the system is now back with that many instances of these three resources A, B, C. So, this is how you have to carry out the numerical. Sometimes what will happen now in the numerical they will not be giving you the available value, but the in, uh, total values will be given. So, if total values are given and the allocation matrix is given, add up the columns in the allocation okay and you subtract from the given total value then you will be able to get the available value so in the numerical normally if available is given total will not be given you can determine easily the way i have taught now if available is not given total will be given then you can find out what the available value so after you carry out in this resource request algorithm this is what is the procedure you have to carry out this carefully one to one comparison is there like seven to two four to three three to zero like this even while adding also you have to carry out what one to one so this way you have to solve the problem first you are carrying out the resource request algorithm steps and then you will carry out the safety algorithm steps so you are combining the two algorithms here in this question so hope this session is useful to you all if you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care